Okay. French horn! I got one from the school. I found out that there is a little bit of a... This was separating for some reason. But I've been playing on it, and I, well, it, I fixed it. I jammed it in there. All the slides seem to be working. Ooh, maybe not that one. <laughs> but remember to take care of all of those slides and making sure you empty out the spit a little bit. Um, I think the biggest thing that's gonna help me play well today is using that fun little app, uh, this one, on our phone called the Bandmate Chromatic Tuner. It's my favorite, oh my gosh, it helps so much. So on my stand I have this, I have my pencil, I've got the fingering chart, and I've got my music for Ina Klein and Noct music. And I was playing through it and I'm just double checking things with my French horn and seeing if the note on the page, like the first note is a B flat, and I'm gonna play that B flat just first. I'm not gonna use my trigger, so I got my B flat. <laughs> And I'm just checking my pitch and it said B flat on the screen so I'm like yeah so um, I'm gonna see those first two measures are kind of jumpy so just getting between your B flat and an F well actually a lot of the song we've got some jumps in there like the first two measures have lots of intervals but the good thing is it's all first so it's just working your lips so that was all in just first which is very cool let's see if I can do those two measures again yeah let's do it again that's always good practice and then pretty soon your ear hears it and your lips will start to find those pitches. Well, I'm feeling better about that. I should probably use more top lip. I, can, I think that's what French horns use more than equal lip or bottom lip. So more top lip from what I remember my good friends who play French horns say. Let's take a look at the second to uh, measure three and measure four. We got E natural, E natural. I put down it as second because I think that sounded better for me. Maybe not. And that one's like a little bit harder. Um, I'm just looking at my chromatic tuner. It seems like I can hit the E when it's open better. Yeah, I'll change it to open. I don't know why I put two. Probably because I thought it would... No, it's E flat. Durr. Bonk, bonk, bonk. E flat. I was right. I'm like, why am I looking at E natural? It says two flats. So I am right, too. There's my solid. E flat. So we got these next two measures. Yay! I'm going to try that again. Measure three and four. And the third time's the charm. Cool. Let's see if we can put those four measures together. That first B flat. One, two, ready. I 
think I might want to try that again. Those jumps are kind of crazy, huh? Then the next few measures look pretty easy. Just one note F for a long time. Let's try those four measures again. Good stuff. pretty good about those four measures. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. to the fourth measure after B, starting on D. So I was looking at my tuner and I'm like, here's my D. <laughs> good, I found it. It's registering, that's good. to C. Yay! Let's see. I'll go back and start on that D, fourth measure of B on our D. Okay. <laughs> three times is good for practice. like seven measures of rest. Now on the divisi, I'm gonna play the top part. I like going for the high French horn. Uh, I'm gonna try top part and I guess I can try the second part but I wanna go from one before D all the way through the repeat. I will do the rests and then I'll do all the way through the first ending and I'll jump back to D and see if I can go all the way to the second ending. But there's like a crazy jump in there, so I might make a mistake. And forgive me. So let's find that A, which is one measure before D, the top note, which is A. Yeah, there's my A. My horn sounds kind of stuffy, but I am playing an A. Yay. I guess we could pause there. Let's do that whole thing one more time. I know I got to shake out my hand too, but I like having good posture. I'm sitting up. I always hold my French horn up. Um, but it's just something I got to get used to. Why don't we try the bottom 
ones. Why not? Starting on our F, so one before D. Okay, two, ready. Oh, what? E is open, sorry. Again, ready and go. Oh, I keep wanting to play E flat or something else. I think of trumpet, and that's bad. Uh, let's try the bottom lines again. Um, e natural. I'll just put a zero because... And then if you have to write an accidental at the end of the measure to remember that you're playing E natural. Don't, that, that's why I have my pencil. I mean, why not? Uh, so I'm starting one before D on an F. Ready and go. instrument tricky instrument but this this tuner thing is great okay let's take it at 41 which is two before the first ending so we will have to jump up to that C which is open so here we go 41 let's find the F ready and go first or it could be one and two in the trigger let's start right at E because E's got some more jumps in that from A to an E E natural yeah open there it is. Let's try it again. Okay. Let's see if we can do E all the way to where it says DC Alcoda. E and then we'll keep going, all right? Then you get a wave. 
did a bunch of measures. And now we're at the coda. Ready? Set and go. <laughs> chromatic tuner on your phone app really 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 helpful fingering charts pencils all those good things hopefully this video helps you thanks for your patience bye